Hey, this is Steve with Data Lab. This is the fourth video in a series for new Alexa developers that are also new to Node.js. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at creating local Node modules to help better organize our skill code. And this is, uh, like I said, part of a series and we're building off of topics that we talked, in, uh, talked about in previous videos. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, you might wanna check those out and then come back to this one so that it all makes sense. But in this one, we're going to be using an example. Um, the example is one that's kind of a common use case in building Alexa skills. The example we're going to build is a, uh, a random word generator. So we'll keep it pretty simple, but I think it's a good example for illustrating how uh, modules, local modules work in Node. And uh, the, the example will be um, like, let's say for a greeting, we want some randomized greeting like rather than just always saying hi or hello we can say you know hey hello what's up and you know just randomize that to make the user experience a, a little less uh, repetitive and uh, to illustrate this along with how node modules work um, let's see what are we going to do uh, I'm going to create just an example file that's going to like simulate our skill so we're not actually building a skill in this we're really just focusing on how modules work um, and the first example is going to be uh, let's see um, uh, we'll create a JSON file to hold uh, values that we're going to use so this is where we would hold our random phrases and maybe some other uh, other items that are part of the uh, skill, so other values that we're going to use throughout the skill, and let's set that up first. We'll we'll say um, we'll have a, like a default username. So when we don't know what the user's name is, we'll refer to them as World. So like rather than Hello Steve, we would have Hello World and um, And we'll have greetings that this is what we're gonna randomize. So we'll need a few of these. We'll have like, hi. Um, what else would we have? We would have hello, of course. We would have something like, hey, and maybe um, what's up? And oh, one more, how's it going? And we'll stick with that for now. We could add as many as we want in here, but I think that's enough to make the point. Um, so now if I wanted to use, start using this as a part of a module, Node makes it really simple. So every file that ends in .json or .js, and I think .node, um, not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure if they end in .node, they'll also get treated as modules. Um, and what that means is it's really easy to use code in one file uh, within another file. And uh, let me show you. So if we declare a variable um, called values here and we use the require keyword to load it as a module. And when you're loading local modules, you use the path to the file. So in this case, um, dot values which is because it's located here in the same folder so now i've uh using the, the module loader in node i've created a, a module called values in this example one.js file so um, i don't have to do anything special to use uh, the the code in that um, so to just to illustrate that uh what do we say Follow username. I think that's, is that what I called it? Uh, default username, yeah. So, um, so here, if I, if I run this, I get my default username back. So I'm running my uh, example one.js file and getting the username from my uh, values.json file and I really didn't need to do anything other than just declare this values constant up here and use the requires keyword to load it as a module. So really, really simple. 
Um, however, if you're working with functional code, uh, it works a little bit differently. It's not, not much harder, but it, it's a, a little bit different. So let's take a look at an example of that. Um, let's say we'll call one like helpers.js. And uh, this one, rather than it just being uh, uh, JSON, uh, we're going to actually have some, some code in here. But you would think based on how we just worked with the, uh, the JSON file that this might work the same way. So if we did something like uh, constant name equals Steve, and so if I declare a constant in this file, I might assume that if I go over here and uh, load this module, the same way, um, then I would have access to that constant, which I called name. So it would seem like I could just do this because I've declared name over here, but let's, um, let's give that a try. But when I try to do that, I get an error and it's a reference error that says name has not been defined. And the reason for that is because uh, the way that the node module loader works is it's going to wrap all of the functional code uh, so that it's not accessible by default in the module or in the file that's loading the module. And the reason that it works that way is because you need to prevent um, code conflicts. So if I had defined uh, name here in this helpers.js file and also defined name in my example one.js file and use that value in the code, which name am I talking about? Um, the, the node uh, module system manages all that, but you do need to know how to get your functional code uh, into a place where it can be used inside of wherever you're uh, loading that module. And the way that you do that is with a special object called the um, module exports object. So anything that's part of the module exports object is going to be uh, accessible, part of your module when the module is loaded. So if I did this, for example, now I am exporting this name constant in my uh, module exports object or setting it as my module exports object value. And so if I go over here, now I can use it. I can't call name because I still don't have that declared in this example one file but I have helpers declared. So if I use that, uh, let me clear this so you can see it, uh, and run it, I get the, the value Steve back because that is what I'm returning as part of this module exports object. And so that's a really simple uh, example, but usually the, what you'd be doing in here is, is, is exporting functional code, not just a, a value like that. So let's Let's take a look at um, how we do that. So what you would do is, uh, what do we call this helpers? And I'm just going to declare a constant that is um, an empty object. And if you recall from, I think it was our second video when we talked about JavaScript variables, you can change the properties of an, uh, uh, an object, even if it's a constant, and we're gonna do that in here, but we're gonna be exporting now that object. And everything that we want to be part of that object, we're just gonna set as a, a property. So I'll change this up to helpers, and then name is gonna equal Steve, and then maybe, um, Maybe I have another helpers dot uh, random greeting. And I'll just stub this out from that right now. And just call this hello. All right. And so now I've got, I've included this name 
value and also this random greeting function as part of my helpers object, which I'm, ex which I'm exporting as, or I'm setting my module exports value as. So now I can use both of these functions here as part of my module. So I can say um, name, uh, first I'll say random greeting. So now if I run this, I get hello Steve. So I'm getting the random greeting, um, which isn't random right now, it's just stubbed out. So it's always, always gonna say hello Steve. But if I um, do that, you can see I've got access now to um, both the, that property that I set and the, the function that I set up in the helpers module. So that's the, that's the basics. Let me just make one more point and then we'll wrap up this video. And the last point is, and I talked about this a little bit in um, the last video, was that uh, with node modules, it's, it's really common that modules are using other modules. And so there's uh, sort of a dependency uh, chain. So let me um, illustrate that with uh, the values module that we created, which was just uh, JSON. And we are going to load that the same way. And that is values.json, like that. So remember now, I don't have a problem doing this, uh, even though I'm declaring this values, we'll call it values, plural, even though I'm de declaring this values here, and I've also declared values here, uh, I'm not going to have any collisions because I'm not including this as part of my exports object, but maybe I want to use it here uh, and do something like um, We call it username, right? Let me just double check that. Yeah. So now, if I want to do something like this, um, and if I go run this again, so now it says hello world because I've defined the default username is world in my uh, values.json file. And so this module is being uh, used here in helpers and then helpers is a module in here and so that's why i'm getting that here so it shows a dependency and the last thing i'll do just to uh, just to complete this um, example is just actually finish up our random greeting helper here and i'll do that with some code that i wrote earlier and so now uh, i want to uh, just get a random value. And so I would do um, something like this. Let's say I would go um, uh, values dot greetings. I think that's what I called it, right? Yeah, greetings. Uh, and then um, this random element uh, that I just added here. And then now, I should, let me make sure I need that. Yep. So now when I run this, I get my random greeting. So how's it going world? What's up world? And that is creating a really simple uh, local module for Node. And as you, you get more code, you'll find uh, more opportunities to break it up and create modules to, to keep it organized. And uh, hopefully this video shows you that it's really not, not very hard to do. Um, once you uh, understand how to do it, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. If um, uh, hopefully this was valuable to you, if it was, please uh, subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel and or like uh, the video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those and I'll respond just as soon as I can. Thanks so much.